Thanks to EA for providing the opportunity to capture F1 2021 early. Hey Jots, tonight we're gonna check out Breaking Point, the new career mode in Formula 1 2021. Challenging, sure. Let's go, let's go right down the middle. Alpha Tauri, Aston Martin, Alpha, Haas, Williams. I kinda wanna wrap the new team, I wanna check out Aston Martin. Prologue in Abu Dhabi. Final race of the Formula 2 2019 season. Let's check this out. An incredible race! Look at it! Every driver is being so aggressive! Check it out! They'll all be feeling the pressure right now. None more so than young Aiden. Oh yeah, we are Aiden Jackson. The atmosphere here is electric and we couldn't have asked for a better finish to the F2 season here in Abu Dhabi. <laughs> Dude, uh, every time I play Formula 2, I realize how much more slippy these cars are in comparison to F1. So easy to spin. Let's try that again. <laughs> Whenever I play a Formula 1 game, I actually think it's way harder to drive in Formula 2. Like, I noticed them missing downforce so much. I'm playing on an Xbox controller right now. I wouldn't mind a little bit more force feedback when my wheels are slipping away. So, it's a lot, e a lot easier to control with full traction control. In case you want to play this on, on a controller, I would probably recommend it, at least for Formula 2. I'll take it. <laughs> Fantastic work, Aiden. Great drive, mate. Congratulations. Yes! I, wonder, I wonder if it was necessary to advance to get first here. And he's done it. Jackson's done it. Aiden Jackson wins the F2 <laughs> championship. And here he is, the man of the moment, Ooh. Aiden Jackson. Got seen. An amazing race and a fantastic win for this incredible driver. Indeed. After this, I guarantee that Jackson will be the hot topic in more than a few upcoming F1 team meetings. The future's definitely bright for this young driver. <laughs> Was it his dad or his coach? Let's find out. Aiden. Now you've made the leap to Formula One, no surprise to anyone who's been watching your career. How does it feel to be on the verge of getting behind the wheel for your first race? To be honest with you, Will, it hasn't really quite sunk in yet. The team has given me a fantastic opportunity. It's a once in a lifetime, a dream come true. So to answer your question, I feel like a little kid. You come over well. They like you. I don't know what you were worried about. Thanks. You know, everything's going to be fine out there today. I just know it. Just do what you did in F2. Easy. <laughs> Easy. Just do the much Brian. faster cars. I won't let you down. Against much better drivers. <sighs> Come on, Aiden. You've got this. Go to Australia in the middle of the race. Haha, <laughs> interesting. A solid start, Aiden. Let's try and push it further. Nine laps. Copy that. Head really curious how the Formula together. One car is gonna feel in comparison in comparison to the Formula Two one. Gotta get my fine steering again for games like this. <laughs> Legit. There's still plenty of time for more drama. There certainly is, Crofty, and these two have been fighting each other incredibly hard so far. They don't want to go tripping over each other, though, because Devon Butler is coming up from behind. He's on the attack, too. Aiden Casper's not your priority. We need you to defend. It's OK. I've got this. <laughs> uh -oh. Three abreast going into turn 11. Oh, this can't work, and it doesn't. Ackerman's off onto the verge of what looks like damage as well. Is he okay? It's Casper okay? He'll be fine, he's heading for the pits now. You just concentrate on the race. And there we have it. So I'm sure there's going to be fireworks in the Racing Point garage this evening. 
for sure. Look, it was a late move from Devon Butler, but you never want to see two teammates make contact, and Ackerman will surely be seething at that one. Absolutely, and I'll tell you who else isn't going to be happy too. Aidan Jackson, not how his F1 race debut should have gone. <laughs> I assume we're going to get our spot back, huh? The damage appears to be minor. How's it feeling, Aidan? Yeah, God's okay. Understood. See how well you can do out there. Copy. Well, time to redeem our mistake. Since only our team that took, dam <laughs> took damage. Just gonna get the spot back from Butler, grab a point, and then be shit on by our team for our selfish behavior. Take it. Casper. Listen, I don't know what happened out there. It wasn't my fault. Well, whose fault was it then? <laughs> Who was the idiot behind the wheel of your car? Hmm? <laughs> You're pathetic. You won't even admit when you made a mistake. I'm. How did they ever sign you? <laughs> he mad. Oh, Butler. Uh, I'm Devon. I didn't see that. I what, like, out on the track today? You nearly took me out, mate. Look, I don't know what happened. You cut in, I swerved. Next thing I knew, Casper was out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Mate, I was nothing to do with it. Whatever that was, that was all on you. Don't be trying to pass the blame, because you haven't sailed in yet. <laughs> what advice would you give to Jackson in his first season? Well, stay out of my way, mostly. <laughs> And uh, taking out your own teammate isn't something I would make a habit of. Almost <laughs> ready, Aiden. We're just checking audio levels. Uh, sure. Seriously, Casper must be wondering what on earth racing point we're thinking. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Thanks, Devin. Yeah. <laughs> Lovely person. The debrief one month later in China. It's the Chinese Grand Prix here in Shanghai, and this track fast becoming a rookie's favourite. Alex Albon, remember him from last year? A brilliant race in his debut season, and it looks like Aidan Jackson's continuing the trend. He really is, Crofty. He's showing great promise so far this season. Well, here's Ackerman now going up behind his young teammates. And the rumour in the paddock, Crofty, is that the tension's building between these two. Let's see what happens here. Here we go. Ackerman's going for it. Down the inside of the hairpin. He's bashed his teammate off the track. <laughs> what are you doing? Casper, what the hell? Looks like Jackson's really struggling to get over that. OK, Aiden, keep it focused. Concentrate. That brush with his teammate clearly affecting the young driver. It looks like it has, Crofty. I can't see any significant damage to that car, so he's going to have to put himself back into this race. <laughs> Our gap behind is 3.0 seconds. Castle and one okay, piece. Aiden, see if you can Save it. It's the same thing to him. He probably did it on purpose. <laughs> That's beside the point. Point two seconds to slow for DRS. Ah, oh, Ackerman. So do we trigger a cutscene or do we just pass him again? <laughs> That's what he did to us earlier, right? <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> He's gone! Pick up rubber and bring it home. <laughs> dum, dum, Post race, let's see. Let's see what uh, the story is gonna tell us about. <laughs> Casper, what the hell was that? You nearly put me out the entire race. Bumping wheels like that, you could have put us both into the barrier. Casper, come on, man. You I have to make a phone call. Casper. <laughs> Ackerman! Mom! Cancel the TV subscription! The entertainment is right here. <laughs> Come off it. Do you really have nothing better to do? Right now? No. <laughs> and why would I want to miss this? You two, you two are like characters in a badly written sitcom. He wanted you a lot to sign Ricardo, you know. Ask anyone. What do you mean? The paddock talks, mate. 
and so did Ackman. Should have heard him last season. He didn't care who he talked to, and he was always going off and on about you. He tried to stop them from signing you. He didn't want to play babysitter. Oh, he did, did he? Everyone knows. Uh, have you not seen the way that people look at you? We all feel sorry for you, mate. You never stood a chance with him. Dun, dun. You want my advice? Prove him wrong! <laughs> Chin up! 